Maycasts. Let's talk about them. Maycasts have one of two outcomes. All right. There's number one. All right. Don't. Yes. Thank you. I think she's dead now. Right. Oh! <laughs> and there's number two. My guy. I what? Hell, what? 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 Now, this video is about whether you are in the number one or number two, uh, I, I definitely think that there is something to be said about Maycast. Now, if you're very new to PvP, Wizard 101, or the channel, or anything, you might not know what a Maycast really is. A Maycast is basically, when you have a wand, it's, it's, it's basically only in a wand right now, that when you use a wand hit, there's a secondary spell that has a chance of casting. Now, this all started, honestly, very, in a very tame way. Started with level 95 was the cap, and it was used in these things called Shadow Forged Weapons. Compared to the best wand in the game at that time, which was the Hades Staff, as you guys see over here, right? Um, no one would really use it. The main cast wasn't worth it. That all changed one day, all right? When the Fire Nation attacked. I'm kidding, all right, I'm sorry. No, but like, basically what ended up happening is the Crowns Wands came out and like right away like almost immediately the fortune tellers wands hit the market and suddenly not only did you have wands with really good stats that were better than hades anyways they also had a may cast that suddenly became more and more problematic now people don't really know the exact chance of the may cast i can tell you from personal experience that the chance of a may cast is more than 20 to 30 percent for some ones and that's actually insane so I'm going to talk in this video about multiple maincasts, why there should be rules set on maincasts, and why there should be a like an outright PvP ban on some maincasts. The reason maincasts is honestly like one of the worst things ever is because they're so random. And I think one way to make everybody happy is just to make maincasts no PvP. Because honestly, no one's going to complain if they get a maincast when they're actually just fighting a boss. Everyone likes free damage. They are going to complain when, for zero pips, for zero pips, my guy, you get a thousand free damage on somebody, even if they shielded, even if they did everything right, they can still get a hit. So the one major solution I can tell you right now is just all, like outright just make them banned in PvP. But, you know, if, let's say you're on that aisle and you actually rely on Maycast to win, hint, hint, you shouldn't. But let's say you do, then there should be rules set on the main casts. Rule number one, I think the maximum damage that a main cast should be able to do is 500. Not 1,000, 500. 500 in itself is a huge, huge amount of damage in most, in most combat situations. People have more and more resist now. I'm on by hitting Storm right now, and I have 50 resist. This isn't even with my best gear. This isn't with my double resist pet, which I rock in PvP. Everybody has more and more resist now with the gear sets that are coming out. What that means is that bigger hits do less damage, so it's more and more common to clutch by a small amount of health. That means that May casts are almost always, when they do cast, at this current point in time, the reason for a win. So I just don't think that Free damage, especially at a thousand, bruh, I really think that that should be reduced. Number two, all X-Pip Maycasts should not be allowed, alright? One of the most infuriating things is when you're going against somebody and you have a shield against them, they wanted the shield off, and they have a ton of pips and they may cast judgment. I know you guys think that that's not real, alright? But, 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 but here's the proof. Right over here, my guy. Lore! Oh, you didn't even lore. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, dude, he has Maycast Judgment, and I swear it happens all the time. Look at this. This is how he wins. I don't understand this at all. King's Isle, fix it. Please fix it. There's no reason why this should be a thing. No reason. That is 954 health that I just lost 
for no other reason but your game is broken. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I can't tell you how annoying this is in PvP when you're clearly winning and again, you do all the right things. You have the defenses up and someone can literally for zero pips do technically 1400 base damage. That is a, th that's not a make cast judgment, all right? That's a make cast, let me win because I paid for this wand and nobody else has his wand and King's Isle doesn't care about the PvP community. That's what that make cast is. X pip, like whatever X pip there is, that immediately needs to be either no PvP or just not part of a make cast. Uh, simple as that, dude. Uh, the X pip ones aren't just for damage either. Uh, there are make cast, uh, a dryad one. It's absolutely out of control. Because you have no control over when you're wand hitting, so you have no you have no control over how powerful your main cast is. If you really are gonna add something as broken as a random bit of damage or a random bit of healing in the game, it should at least be something that's consistent. It shouldn't be something that you like absolutely just have out of nowhere for no reason. So so that being said, X Pit main casts completely. There's no reason why they should be in the game. Number three. The best way to fix make casts is to not make the make casts absolutely horrendous. Uh, one of the one of the biggest mistakes, in my opinion, that King's Isle has ever made is put the make cast that they did on the Outlaws bundle. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, by them. I know what it looks like. It looks like a mana burn, but hit hit. It's a lot worse than a mana burn. This make cast, which by the way is absolutely mind boggling is literally one of those that is, it just shouldn't belong in PvP. The way it works, you wanted someone, it burns their pips without doing damage, and then takes those pips and transfers them over to the Maycaster. I'll tell you why this is a problem, all right? Let's say I have five pips, all right? And let's say someone has zero pips because they suck at pip management. Now they want hit me, I lose all of my pips, they get three extra pips, and suddenly, they have all the advantages that they need. The best thing that I can do now that I'm out of pips is shield. And honestly, why would I even shield if all it's going to do is make them wand hit and then get the main cast? Number four, my mans. The best way to fix main casts. I, I'm saying this is the best way for all of them. Is reduce the percentage that they are there. Alright, that's another huge, huge thing. If you're gonna really break the game, make it a very rare instance. Or make it something that, like, if it happens, I'll literally clickbait it. I'll, I'll clickbait it. Or I'll literally clickbait it. Like, like, dead ass. Like, because right now, May casts are way too reliably consistent in terms of how often they cast. I've literally gone in matches where people have gotten May casts more than once. That should just not be allowed. All right, you're, you've already gotten a thousand free damage. Why do you need a thousand more? All right, like, you know, it doesn't make any sense. So I don't think Maycast should even be enabled past like the two, three percent mark. And I know that's really small. And there's a reason it should be that small. You should not ever be wand hitting for the sake of a Maycast. You should be wand hitting to remove a shield. And some people accidentally get it because they're still removing a shield when they get the Maycast. That should be a very, very rare occurrence. It should be something that happens so much that people literally give up other stats in order to make cast. Number five, make cast wands should not be crowns only. If you're gonna make a wand that can literally take my pips and give you the pips, there's no reason why that wand should be in a bundle that's $40. That's the essence of pay to win. If you're gonna make a bundle with a make cast wand, I don't care how OP it is, do not put it into PvP. I am begging you and the very last suggestion at the moment may cast wands are not actual trade-offs all right like if you really look at this wand versus this wand when we're comparing it what i do you would think that the thousand damage may cast might actually end up sacrificing some stats it really really doesn't there's a better version of this wand that gives pierce i wouldn't be losing out on pierce i lose out on a little bit of damage but I gain a lot of crit and I gain a lot of block. I'm pip convert, who really cares about pip convert? I am actually inclined, if the main cast are like this, to just use this one. There's no reason for me to go for a ton of damage if honestly I get more crit anyways and I get a chance of doing a thousand damage for zero pips all the time. I think that if you really are gonna make main cast wands, make them like the Shadow Forge weapons. That's how they started. Alright, when Maycast weapons were a thing, no one used them, and if they did, 
Now, I'm not saying nobody used them, but very, very few people use them. Because when they did, they would sacrifice other stats. If you really are gonna throw away your stats for Maycast, then you deserve to use the Maycast. Alright? I think that any combination of these suggestions would 100% fix Maycasts in PvP. But what's more important to me is that Wizard101 actually listens to your community on this because it's infuriating. It's infuriating how how much like i'm sorry i'm like actually frustrated even making this video because i i, I was going back at all the times i got screwed over by this joint uh it happens a lot all right the clips you saw in this video are, are a small portion of what happens so uh that being said let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you like Maycast? Do you think they should be allowed in PvP? Do you think any one of my suggestions are worth it? Or do you think I'm just a crazy salty noob who doesn't deserve to have an opinion? Anyway, uh, please don't say the last one. <laughs> please. Um, <laughs> if somebody hasn't told you awesome today, they do it something wrong. I've been meaning to make this video for a long time, and I hope King's Isle watches this and listens to it. So, my mans, if you're new, make sure to drop a sub, and if you like the video, make sure to drop a like. If somebody hasn't told you you're awesome today, they doing something wrong, my man. So, stay awesome, bruh. And yeah, y'all. Yeah.